So I recently bought uh, some cheap stepper motors off of eBay, um, and these are the stepper motors that I bought. These are tiny little, uh, I mean they are literally tiny, um, and they're just 5 volt DC stepper motors, that's the uh, part number. And I got five of these, five of these little uh, driver boards which have the um, ULN 2003 uh, transistor chip on them. So I've got this connected up um, and uh, I uploaded the one of the sketches that comes with the Arduino IDE, uh, a sketch called Stepper One Revolution, which is meant to step the motor through uh, one whole rev revolution and then well it will do it clockwise and then it will do it anti-clockwise but I had a little bit of a problem or I have a little bit of a problem um, and that is that the step motor doesn't actually move I can feel it moving and you can see it moving but I can turn it the other way while it's moving it's not really meant to be doing that the problem with this is basically I've got the stepper speed too high so in, in this um, sketch that uh, comes with the Arduino IDE, it's set to 60 RPM. So I'm going to turn it down and re-upload the sketch and see if that makes a change. So it's slower now, but it's still not really got any torque to it. It's just kind of missing steps, not really doing steps. And if I slow it right down to 5 RPM, I'll upload this sketch again. Again, it's rotating slowly as expected, but it's not really got any any real torque to it or anything like that. It's not really behaving how I expected it to. To be honest, I'm not expecting much because this is like, I got five of these and five driver boards for like eight quid, seven, eight quid on eBay. So, you know, you can't expect much. But um, I'm gonna have a quick look online and see if anyone's got the same ones and see if anyone's got the, uh, have the same problem. So I had a quick look online and I've just found on Instructables, someone who seems to have the same stepper motors as, um, as me and they've got the same driver boards as well. So just having a look through this, I've had a look through this, and it goes into some information about um, how it all works. These these driver boards are slightly different to mine. Mine's got the uh, the DIP version of this chip rather than the uh, SMD. Um, other than that, they're the same. So I'll just reading through this, and it seems like there's um, two different types of motor that look very similar. Um, and they've just basically got different number of steps which uh, goes into here. I'll link in this um, this page as well. Um, but he also goes into the, the timing sequence which is uh, good. It's good to have that as reference and um, he's got some code down here. So I've just quickly uploaded this code um, and it seems to be working a lot better. So uh, this code obviously works better than the, um, the one that the Arduino ID is using for these stepper motors. So here's the sketch. Um, I'll just quickly go through how it works. So there's some definitions up here and then we have our uh, setup. So it's using serial just to output some information and then we've got our four output pins which are defined up here. Um, and then the loop basically, it's got a number of steps and if, the, if there's steps left to go then it uses this function here, stepper and then one, which is, uh, the function is defined later on in the sketch, but it just uh, steps it by one and then this is all to do with um, basically outputting the time via serial, um, that's just more um, serial bits, a delay and then uh, change direction and then reset the number of steps left to go. Um, and this is the actual function for stepper, so, so what this is doing, it's basically um, the stepper is like a, a state machine. It has a number of states which relate to the different steps or the different phasing of the steps. Um, and these particular stepper motors have got or uh, an eight phase cycle, so zero to seven. And this is the uh, case for each each phase, which is that, 
that um, reference diagram showing the timing in the uh, in the web page, and then just to set the direction, and then the direction basically changes the direction again here. Um, and that's basically how it works. So this is a sketch in uh, action. As you can see now, it's turning a lot more smoothly, and I can put pressure on that, and it will still turn. I can still stop it from turning, but it's uh, got a lot more torque now, and it's um, quite smooth, really. So uh, I've been playing around with this sketch, trying to um, speed up the stepper motor, and I couldn't find an easy way of doing it. So I've I've essentially just rewritten. Um, the control parts of the sketch over to a new sketch. So I've got my definitions here, just a number of steps to do. Um, C step, so this is my current step within the phasing of the motor. I'll, I will explain what I mean by that in a minute. Um, set up my input pins and then in this, uh, the main loop. So I'm just gonna call this step one. So I'm gonna, this is for one step. Uh, I'm going to step one from zero up to the number of steps, which is defined above, which is uh, 4096. Um, and then I'm going to delay, or I'm going to delay by microseconds. I tried delay to start off with, and I got down to one, and it was still working, so I need to go smaller, so delay microseconds was needed. Um, and then just serial print once you've got done all those steps, and then another delay just to uh, make it visible. And then essentially this is um, the copied, so this, the state machine is copied again and basically this step function says okay so look at the current step, if the current step is 0 do this, if it's 1 do this, all the way down and then at the, uh, at the bottom we increment our current step and we say if our current step is 8 reset it to 0. Um, so there's a bit of modular maths going on here and I'll explain this, this whole phasing thing which is the, the steps uh, on a bit of paper. So what's actually happening inside the stepper motor is um, these stepper motors are unipole pole or unipolar and um, they have basically four, four wires but there's eight possible states that these can be in so we're using half stepping here um, and basically what it is is it will pull some, not all, of the uh, the the wires high um, and generally it will be two then one then two then one then two and that moves the the motor around either clockwise or anti-clockwise by a, a certain amount with the magnets so this is sort of a, a clock face or it's modular maths but it's a it's a clock face and basically we go from step zero or state zero to state one to two to three to four to five to six to seven and then the next one is back, completing the cycle back to zero. And each one of these has an associated state for the four wires, which is what is happening in the, the main function, both of the indestructible sketch and my sketch. So what happens when you get to seven and you want to move clockwise is the eight essentially is zero. Um, and likewise, if you were going the other way, if you're going anti-clockwise and you went from zero to minus one, well, minus one is seven. And that's how it works. So, but the important thing is, is you need to go to the the adjacent step. So you need to go from zero to one to two. You can't go from zero to two. So this is my uh, quick new sketch um, in action. And uh, at the moment, I've got the delaying microseconds set to uh, nine hundred. And um, so basically. What, what I'm trying to do is reduce the amount of time between the steps of the stepper motor to increase the speed of the revolution. So if I try 600, uh, I'll just upload this, you, you will see what happens if you step too quickly. Um, basically nothing. There isn't enough time for the, the, the magnets inside and the, there's a minimum time between steps that you can use. So I tried 800 uh, as well. Just upload that. So 800, it does work, but at the beginning, it jitters a little bit, and it's very easy for me to stop that. So I can just put, as soon as I put pressure on it, if I put pressure on it, it just stops. There's no, and it doesn't really just carry on stepping. So 800 is a little bit too fast as well. I tried 850, and it was kind of okay, 
but I think 900 is probably a uh, safe bet. So that, that's 900.